And you, as the Prince of Tides, uh -huh. have a nice little show and tell wasn't for us. Was that a movie? Yes. yes. Barbara Streisand. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was a movie, wasn't it? Yeah. Hey, we've got the baby behind me separating Miami from Miami Beach, but up above us, we've also got the eclipse going on. Now, normally you would see the full moon burning bright right here, but the Earth is in the way, so it's in the shadow. But all this lined up gravity is causing a problem pushing this bay right into here. The world may think of Miami Beach like this, but people who live here know it can also look like this. Streets covered in seawater. We're putting in 60 to 70 pumps all across the city of Miami Beach. Phil Levine is the mayor of Miami Beach and he believes this $300 million set of pumps are what will save his island city from sea level rise over the next few decades. This is the exit valve, for lack of a better term. That is correct. There's a pipe that flows out through into the bay. City engineer Bruce Mowry is getting these powerful pumps ready for something called a king tide. When the sun, the moon, and the earth are in alignment, then you get the strongest gravitational attraction. Florida beach expert Dr. Stephen Leatherman thinks the pumps will only delay the inevitable, actually lifting parts of the city. Ultimately, they are going to have to bring, raise the elevations here. We believe with our pumps, we got a good 30 to 50 year solution here. Higher seawalls are going in and one by one, the pumps are starting to dry the streets. If the water is coming off the street, isn't it pretty darn dirty by the time it gets out into the bay? It does pick up a lot of dirt and trash, basically any kind of nastiness that may be on the road. But we have a pollution control device here. It's buried way down deep, just before the underground pumps. A diver has to physically go down there periodically to clean it out by hand. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to protect this paradise. We want it to be dry. We want it to be the most livable city in America. So you're putting them everywhere, even over there where Oprah lives and other Correct. very wealthy people. Correct. Yeah. So there's a lot of money here, no question about that. But they're spending a lot of money to try to defend themselves from rising sea levels and coastal flooding. And looking up in the sky right now, I see no moon anywhere. That means the sun, the earth, and the moon are lined up just like this. For now, we'll see what happens with the tides coming up in just a bit. Those are pretty celestial balls you've got there, Dave. Yeah. Those are very I'm impressive. I'm impressed. You worked on very those nice. pretty hard. That's cool. Like. A little paper mache. Very cool. Hey, Sesame Street, hoping to get...